What's up, everyone? Happy Wednesday. So, we got a late night ride today. Busy day today. We're down here at the Long Beach Boardwalk. I don't know if you can see that. Boardwalk in the background. Ocean out there. It's kind of dark. You can see the uh, all those lights out there, all of our goods out there. Waiting to get unloaded. Driving the prices up on us. That's all our stuff sitting out there. That's why everything's so expensive. Anyway, enough of the politics. So, <clears throat> we're doing a ride tonight. And, um, to find out what to talk about. So, I don't know if you guys noticed, a couple people reached out. Yesterday, um, I never did my message. Did my ride. And I stopped twice to do my ride. And after each time I stopped, um, crap hit the fan, should you say. Uh, I got phone calls. Had to deal with stuff. So, while I was riding, I was doing business. And then, uh, basically I finished my ride and I jumped, uh, grabbed Joey. We had to go to baseball. Joey had, uh, he was pitching. Uh, he did great. Uh, he was really coming along. And in between watching Joey pitch, I was working on some other deals that I got in play. And, uh, after that, I had my team meeting last night and I came home and went to bed and I never went live. I started the post, never went live. So, uh, I broke my cycle, which kind of sucks. I was live for 300 and, I don't know, what are we, 334 days in a row. But the ride continued, and that's really what this is about. So we did the ride yesterday. We did a ride every day. But, um, yeah, a couple people reached out and said, hey, I didn't see your message. What happened? So that's what happened. Um, life, life happens. Life gets busy. So I need a message of the day for today. So message of the day today is... Um, karma and uh i call it the jinx and celebrating too early so um we're celebrating last night um i had two deals this week got accepted offers on did really well on and i've noticed that every time i post about an accepted offer the offer crash and burns it's like i don't know it's like the jinx so um a couple people on my team were like Oh, can we post about the accepted offer on these houses? And I was like, ah, let's wait a little bit. And contracts went out, both properties. And I was like, you know what, screw it. Let's celebrate uh, this. We're, we're there. We're close to the finish line. And what do you know today? One of the deals calls up and says that uh, there's an issue. And uh, they're not moving forward. So, once again, I feel it's a jinx. I can't post about it. But um, I think it's just the way life goes. But uh, for me, it just seems like every time I celebrate early, uh, it causes havoc. So it's not a big deal. I mean, we got a backup offer right behind it. It's a little less money. But it um, looks like uh, that one should go through. Cash deal, quick close. So if all goes well, we'll have the next offer on the table. So no offers accepted. I'm not, I'm not jinxing this one. Um, but I wonder in life how many times do we celebrate too early um we start losing weight we take our foot off the gas we celebrate that we lost weight and uh we go out to dinner um maybe we paid down some debt and we got caught up on our bills and uh we start spending money again before we're fully caught up um maybe we start trying in a relationship and we get our relationship better and then we give up and we go back to our old ways um, how many times are we celebrating too early before we're done, before we're at the finish line? Uh, I've seen it in football, right? The guys start doing their touchdown dance on a two-yard line and someone tackles them before they get into the end zone. And it seems like life does that. So definitely make sure you don't celebrate early. Make sure that it's done, deal, signed, sealed, delivered before you celebrate. And that goes with everything in life. Um, and I think the jinx is real. <laughs> they really do because uh, it seems like Whenever I post about uh, a successful deal that's not completely signed yet, celebrating early, um, there's a jinx that comes out and uh, usually screws the deal up. So you think I would learn my lesson by now. But anyway, at least I've learned. I, I don't think it's uh, really real. I think it's just a fact that uh, there's so much complications in real estate um, that uh, there's always a hiccup in some fashion. What you guys don't see is the stuff that we do behind the scenes in real estate, dealing with the... Uh, Dealing with, you know, uh, 
buyers, sellers, and whatever issues they're having in their lives. Dealing with the attorneys and trying to get them to communicate. Um, dealing with the banks, the appraisers, the home inspectors, building departments. Um, what else? Um, in-laws, parents of the buyers that come and try and know it all and try and kill deals. Um, there's so many factors that uh, that we deal with um, when selling a house that there's a lot more than just selling a house. And everyone thinks, oh, I can just put it for sale by myself and save a commission. Well, you put it for sale by yourself and you save a commission. But usually sell yourself short because if we don't get a bunch of people looking at the house or we don't get it out on every website and every social media and everywhere we put it on out in the world and get everyone to see it, that's what drives the numbers up. If you put an after sales on your front lawn, you know, maybe post it on Facebook or something. Um, you're not getting those looks, and you're not getting you're not getting driving the price up. But once you do drive the price up, do you know how to negotiate that deal? Do you know how to make sure that the pre-approval is good? Do you know how to make sure the contracts are right? The attorneys are doing the right thing. Do you know how to make sure the house appraises or give it its best shot at appraising? Um, do you know how to deal with the home inspector when he starts crashing uh, the house and telling you know that the house is horrible and they shouldn't buy it when a lot of these home inspectors don't know what they're doing? Uh, you definitely get what you pay for in that. Um, how do you know uh, how to get the house closed when closing dates coming up and issues arise and the building department uh, has violations on the house and uh, work needs to be done and uh, there's just so many factors out there that come up in the course of a closing of a house uh it gets pretty stressful now it's not every deal some deals go smooth and it seems like they're few and far between these days but um definitely a, a lot to it so anyway moral of the story don't celebrate early make sure it's signed sealed and delivered before you celebrate because uh, uh the force of average will creep up and smack you and uh seems like what went on today a little bit uh again we saved it we had a solid backup offer and uh, hopefully that one gets going. But um, that's what we were doing today. Running around like a lunatic, like a chicken with my head cut off, getting a lot of stuff done, a lot of stuff in the works. Got some, hopefully some announcements coming up, uh, some cool stuff going on. But um, not going to jinx that one. So anyway, let's jump on prayers here. It's a pretty night down here in Long Beach. Uh, it's about 50 degrees, really not much wind for once. I feel like we've been in a tornado for uh, the last couple of weeks. All right, let's jump on prayers here in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to follow through on everything we do. Help us to not celebrate too early. Help us to uh, keep putting in the work and not take our foot off the gas. Uh, and even once we hit the finish line, to keep going and keep driving and keep doing the right thing and keep living our best life and being the best versions of ourselves. Amen. All right, so it's Wednesday, hump day. The weather's finally getting a little bit better. This ride is almost over. We're getting there. Um, now's the fun part. We get decent weather. It's beautiful, the ride. Um, down here, Long Beach Boardwalk. If you've never been down here, come down here. Go for a bike ride. Go for a walk. Beautiful, beautiful spot. Um, I don't know, it's like two miles each way. I think it's, yeah, I think it's two miles each way. Uh, four, mi four mile round trip. So I do the boardwalk two and a half times, and uh, that gets my 10 miles in. And so uh, we're going to go finish the ride. It's a beautiful night. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, if you guys need anything, reach out. We're always here for you. All right, everyone, have a great night. Appreciate you all. Put your head on a pillow every night, knowing you make the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go.